Beginning in 1997, uh, an investigator by the name of Dr. Pizzuto at Purdue University uh, looked into the results of experiments using resveratrol in over 20 different cancers, beginning initially with skin cancer. And he found that resveratrol was an incredible, powerful substance in helping to prevent cancer. Uh, there are three stages of cancer, the initiation stage, the promotion stage, and the progression stage. Resveratrol, as an antioxidant, inhibits or helps to reduce the initiation of cancer. As an anti-inflammatory, it helps to reduce the promotion of cancer. It also reduces the new blood vessel formation, or so-called angiogenesis and helps to reduce metastases or the progression and spread of cancer. And now in the laboratory uh, for, for cancer, uh, it is very powerful and it's being extended into human experimentation. In terms of heart disease, we know that it reduces the stickiness of platelets. It has a Viagra-like effect on blood vessels and it releases a substance called nitric oxide and dilates the blood vessel so more blood can get to the heart. And also it's protective in terms of heart attacks. In Alzheimer's disease, studies here in New York have shown that it reduces the destructive and poisonous plaque, the amyloid plaque that forms in the brains of Alzheimer's patients and helps prevent it from forming and also uh, enhances the ability of it from the brain. So in all of these subjects, in all of these diseases, it has shown very powerful effects.